our ability to grow food in this country has been our biggest pride. Many things we have done in the last seventy years, we have built businesses, we have built industries, we have built infrastructure, our scientists are going to Mars. But the greatest achievement in this country is, without any infrastructure, with hardly any science, just with traditional knowledge, our farmers have been providing food for 1.3 billion people. This is not a small joke. This is not a joke because, I, you know, a bunch of uh, CEOs were there with me and they were talking all over the place. I said, see, I'll give you ten acres of fertile land. Ten of you get together, you are all Harvard, Wharton, this one, that one, everything, all right? I'll give you ten acres, grow me five different varieties of crops. I'll give you everything you want, just do, do it and show me. Just read a book and do it, let me see. I'm telling you, this is the most precious knowledge we have. That is, with eight to ten thousand years of history of agriculture, our farmer, he looks illiterate, but he knows the magic of transforming mud into food, it's not a small thing. If you do not understand what I am talking, today for lunch, along with your lunch, have a spoon of mud on the side like a char, just little, little in between you eat. You will understand what it means to transform mud into food. It's not something… I don't know, most people, city people think it comes from a superstore. <laughs> food doesn't come from a store, food comes from the land. And somebody should know how to transform this mud into food. We have taken it for granted because sixty-five, seventy percent of this population just knows how to do this.